Hello, hello, everyone. This is Fiscus Friday. I'm reminded of Alec Trebek in the way that he always used to open Jeopardy, one of my favorite shows growing up. Let's give everybody a couple minutes here to jump in, uh, and then we will begin with Fiscus Friday. On there, we'll hear uh, some a few things about that, of course. Um, and let's let's just get into the updates. Let's get into the facts. So let's start with uh, Doning, who will give us some pertinent updates. Thanks, Phil. Um, hello, Fiscalites. Um, just a few updates that I have. Um, uh, first of all, uh, the amnesty um, phase is over. We uh, I'll announce that close as of this moment. Um, we thank you, uh, thank the uh, community, uh, the, the members that have stepped up and and uh, and uh, and taken care of that, and uh, uh, we applaud you and uh, we thank you uh, for that. Um, but that part's closed, and um, <clears throat> we will um, obviously have some adjustments to the blacklist uh, based on um, you know our ongoing analysis of the transactions that that are occurring. We are seeing some movement of pfisc um from blacklisted wallets to other wallets and um and so uh, we expect to expand upon the blacklist as uh, as we need to um but uh, as far as the uh, amnesty phase goes it, it's uh, it's complete um i'll also announce that the um that the refund I, we have closed the refund form um remember this was non-binding it was a way for um the team to get a barometer of what uh, what refunds uh, would be requested when uh, when uh, this process begins, and uh, the responses have slowed down the last few days. So um, we're going to go ahead and close that, and uh, we certainly appreciate everyone's um, everyone's uh, participation in that. Uh, we certainly understand um, you know that financial situations have changed, and and for other various reasons. Um, but uh, we we certainly have got a good gauge on what the uh, what the uh, what the numbers um, um, are going to look like. Uh, just to give you kind of a overview of that, um, um, from last week it was about fourteen percent. Now it's about uh, a little over fifteen percent. Um, not not just uh, estimated uh, token requests. Um, as far as uh, refunds go, but also holders. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I think you know, in all said, that that's a great number. Um, um, obviously, we we are accounting for um, more of that, um, just because I think that's a it's a conservative estimate. Um, but we certainly um, thank you for filling out the form and and giving the team some information on <clears throat> on what uh, what that'll. Uh, what, what that might entail. Um, also, uh, I would like to uh, announce that um, the uh, level three NFTs and the level two NFTs have all been minted um, individually <coughs> with, uh, with uh, unique quotes to each. Um, and the level ones uh, are, um, will be finished within the next couple days as far as uh, the minting process. Obviously there's, you know, there's quite a few of the level ones. Um, and so it's kind of a tedious process, but, but uh, we're well on our way to completing that. And, and uh, those will be sent out in, 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 in very quick fashion. Uh, so um, keep a look at, out for your <coughs> Kaleo um, account. Um, if you haven't created one, um, visit that website and, uh, and in the next few days, those will be uh, those will be uh, appearing in your uh, in that uh, in that account. Um, so those are really the just the kind of the behind the scenes operational updates that I have. Um, I do want to say something on a personal note that over the last um, you know five months um, that we've gone on this journey, um, I can tell you truthfully that from from a personal standpoint that I'm, I haven't been more excited about this project than I am now. Uh, we've got a uh, fantastic um, leadership. We've got a very clear path to, um, to uh, our original vision. 
Um, we've got some amazing things that that um, that that the that the team is working on, and uh, we have a cohesiveness now that uh, that I haven't seen before. So, um, you know, I've been excited about this project for a long time. Obviously, um, being here day one and uh, everything, um, you know, um, going on with this journey as 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 it has. But I will say at this very moment, I haven't been this excited about um, Fiscus um, ever. So I, I want I want you to know that from you know from a from a guy who doesn't talk a whole lot in the in the general chat or or uh, or uh, works more behind the scenes, I just want to communicate that to the community because because it's it's an exciting time, and obviously we have a little more patience that we have to. We have to give to this project, but um, the path is clear, and it's been more clear um, now than it ever has been. So I did want to share that. I don't know if I necessarily shared that with the team, but um, I do want to share that with the community for sure. So, um, but that's 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 what we've got going right now as far as uh, kind of behind the scenes. And I'll turn it over back over to Phil um, so he can uh, uh, get to the rest of the updates. Thank you, Danny. Well said, well said, my friend. Uh, let's let's go over to Clarissa and let's hear exactly about what some things going on over there operationally, and and hear from her. Thank you, Phil. Um, so operationally, with the way, of, um, really, this is in the capital vein. But one of the most exciting things is you know Princess's trip, uh, international trip to Dubai, and so a lot of the the operational focus has been on supporting that and. Um, supporting um, the the pipeline. Um, so just to give the community a bit of an update, um, Princess is scheduled um, uh, to, as soon as she gets to Dubai, to sort of hit the ground running. Um, she's scheduled uh, for the Ministry of Justice on um, Tuesday of next week, and then she'll be meeting with the, the president of Raz Al Khaimah Rack Bank on Wednesday. Um, and both of these connections were introduced to the Al Rafa Investment Group. So she'll be hard at work, um, you know, pursuing those activities. Um, also, while she's in Dubai, she uh, will be meeting with uh, the Abraham Business Circle. Uh, she's been invited to that business circle, and she'll be presenting uh, the Fiscus Project offering um, to um, become capital partners or project developers. Uh, with that group. So she has sort of stacked the deck there uh, over in Dubai to um, really be, you know, working hard for the project and for the community uh, and for Wawea. Um, also operationally, we're focusing on communicating to our um, existing pipeline of projects, um, sort of updating them on these developments. Um, uh, we also want, uh, we're just we're working on making sure they understand what they need. Um, so we have a checklist of items that we're going to be going through the projects, communicating with them. Um, if they're supporting documents, for example, that they're not complete in our system, uh, making sure that they have those, supporting them to get them uploaded, um, those kinds of things, just so that we make sure we're nice and tight um, while uh, Princess is pursuing those opportunities internationally. Um, uh, one other note to the community regarding new projects. Um, so we're still collecting new projects, um, and you can continue to use the project submission form uh, um, for uh, new projects that are coming across your radar. Um, however, um, all projects are under a sort of 30-day review while um, Princess is traveling. Um, so. We will be privileging projects that have existing collateral, um, but for for most projects, please expect at least a 30 plus day before you're, you'll hear back. Um, you're still invited to submit those projects using our form, um, but just to, to sort of um, put the expectation out there that um, we are focused on this capital acquisition and, and that's really where the team is, is, is gonna be focusing in, um, in this next 30 day period. Um, <clears throat> we'll, um, we also have been working, um, I've been working with a couple of other members of the community um, on a draft of a financial structure for educational materials for investors. Um, Princess um, will be using a, a version of that draft um, as she's having her conversations uh, internationally. 
Um, and, you know, once we're able to sort of get her, give her a chance to beta test that, um, that draft come back and sort of give her, um, give her assessment of how um, that went over with investors, we will be sort of adjusting it and releasing a copy of that, um, that overview of the financial structure to the community um, so that community members can also benefit from uh, sort of understanding um, sort of the, the bigger picture of um, how the fiscus financial structure works um, and how AWEA um, is um, really instrumental in supporting that. Um, and then lastly, um, uh, last Fiscus Friday, I did mention Finicity, which is our off-chain um, asset verification oracle. Um, and originally we thought that uh, we would need to sort of build out um, a reporting structure for Finicity. Um, but after further review, we've realized that we there is sort of an out of the box solution that we may be able to use. And what that means um, for the community, why that's important is um, we may have a quicker timeline on being able to immediately sort of deploy Finicity to verify assets um, as they are um, as they're identified. Um, so right now, the status of that is that we are running uh, those reports with um, customer test data, um, but the, the the hope is that we'd be able to sort of quickly bring that on board to to start verifying um, assets as they become you know available for the project to use. Um, that is all that I have. Um, so thank you, and back to you, Phil. Thank you so much, so much, Clarissa, as well. Uh, thank you for those updates. Uh, everyone is eager for uh, for next week's fulfillment of of several of those aspects related to the to the trip. Uh, definitely some updates on 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 my side. Uh, we as far as the two major ones that I'll speak about now are are one the uh, the the project in Georgia. Uh, we did receive the finalized number on that, and that number is two million four hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, that's what the kind of net liquidity will look like. Uh, I'll have an update on timing on that, but I, I know at this point that I won't have that update until Monday. And so on Monday, we'll be presenting the actual, um, all the numbers, uh, how they break down, kind of a, a, what we'll utilize that for. Uh, obviously, it's, it's, it's for the business of Fiscus, right? It's, it's, it's for that. It's not for um anything that we haven't discussed and everything again from an on-chain perspective will be migrated into the uh into the multi-sig and so just like this last week which i think was was an incredible um forward progress in areas of of transparency right the community knowing exactly okay here's the expenditure for waller here's the expenditure uh for the uh, for the dubai elements um, the same thing will be will be true throughout this uh, throughout this phase. Uh, secondly, as far as the uh, as far as the accounting review, it is basically finished. The reason that we haven't that we, I've been holding off on on giving more specific updates is that we're actually negotiating some some final invoices, and that's with four different firms. You know, we're not talking about you know just just Linkpoint. Uh, that's from four different firms. Um, but even so, I still want to let everybody know exactly where we're at so that you know what to see and what to track. Uh, we know that before the um, both the legal and the and the Dubai elements, the multi-sig had right around 460,000 there. We have 175,000 in, uh, in accounts receivable. We have uh, right around 250,000 off-chain that is coming on-chain into that multi-sig. We have uh, a variety of, of refunds that we're waiting on our, as far as a, as, a, as a protocol. One of those being from, from RugDoc that we mentioned before. There's a $15,000 refund coming from them, which I still think is ironic that it's RugDoc that we're waiting for for that. Uh, we have a variety of credits um, from, a, from marketing and from legal. And so all of that is being aggregated. So we're still right around that 1 million point. That's how and why we got there. Um, the breakdown will get into the OTC firms that we've utilized for specific transactions so that there's no misnomer about wallets. Um, and again, so in, in that full report, we're also gonna group things by, by assets 
or excuse me, by three different classes. The first one being assets. Uh, we have some assets off chain that are what you could you could refer to as illiquid assets. These are assets related to the the projects that have that are are ready. Right? These are this is capital that has been spent in order to get them ready. Uh, whether it's through structuring, whether it's through SPVs, all of those elements. Uh, we then would would look at sunk cost as the as that second element. You know, the biggest elements as far as a loss goes from sunk costs, and everyone will see this in the review, but just speaking about it now, these certain parts, we know that we know the loss related to the to April 22nd. Uh, there's a loss related to the to the hundred million and that being pulled. Um, you know, those are those are the two biggest. You know, that alone accounts for roughly eight hundred thousand when you combine those two. Um, so again, that's a that's a hard pill to swallow. You know, I, I think the thing that makes us who we are is is tenacity, is the ability to move forward and to know what we have, right? And I know that there's some elements from a from a technical perspective that that CSM is will get into on that, and it's it's very much appreciated. Um, and and so again, the the key points moving forward is that we have we also have Waller to help us in this. So when we're talking about uh, the credits, when we're talking about negotiating final invoices and and final settlements, you know those are the. This is why we have you know a group that that we do, and so we're excited about that for this fresh um, this freshness, right? This 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 reboot, if you will. Um, and so with that, I, I want to go ahead and give it over to uh, CSM, and then I'll have some some final thoughts too whenever it comes back. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, so I I talked to Phil pretty much in depth on the accounting and and got an overview on it. So I'm going to comment from my perspective on that a little bit, and then get into what else uh, I was up to this week. So really, from the accounting. Um, you know, it, it wasn't too bad uh, for me. There, there were some, uh, you know, s some big uh, losses, as Phil just said, from from the failed launch. Um, the the dev side, that there is going to be a major sunk cost on the dev side, uh, but even there, that is is not too bad. Uh, it's going to be a big number. It's gonna it's gonna to 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 hurt and it's a bit disappointing uh, to have that. But in the scheme of things, it's very difficult to do software development. So the, a number that's often thrown around is that 70% of all software projects fail, uh, meaning that they are never delivered or they're so drastically over budget that they just can never uh, return anything. Um, I have personally never really seen any software project that has been initiated uh, by non-technical leaders ever succeed. Um, in fact, I've, I've even seen uh, special forces, <laughs> a special forces soldiers uh, crying because they, uh, they couldn't figure out uh, why it was so difficult to, uh, to, to lead software development uh, project when they could, you know, parachute into Afghanistan and under Taliban fire, you know, build an airstrip from scratch. Um, so it, it is it is in its own class of things. What I can say is that with with very strong technical leadership and clarity of where we're going, that it is it is in my my experience, I find it pretty easy at this point to be able to drive positive outcomes for uh, being very cost efficient uh, efficient. So I've I've overseen multiple projects that have spent between 500,000 and a million dollars that, uh, you know, competed on a on a world class level. So uh, I, I have full confidence that we will be able to raise any money that that we need in order to be able to implement the steps going forward. And that we will have uh, a technical team in place that that I will have very strong guidance to ensure that we get uh, good quality uh, and and clarity. Clarity is one of the the biggest 
in necessary ingredients that the technical team can't provide by themselves uh, in order to be successful. So that is, uh, yeah, that's just my my update from from that perspective. And I know that later this week, uh, Phil will be releasing those those concrete numbers, and and we can talk about anything else then. So yeah, what I've been up to this week. So the major thing was working with the tokenomics committee, and that that has been super fun. It's been it's really been a blast. Uh, I I was really proud of the foundation of the tokenomics that I put together. Um, I I really managed to achieve the kind of the holy grail of of making tokenomics that. Uh, Fisk will be a blue chip token that you can pretty much just hold on to for the rest of your life and be able to get uh, passive income and be able to have liquidity uh, without needing to sell it. Uh, so I was very proud of that. But working with the tokenomics committee, they added in some really great tweaks and 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 really great perspective to just like re take it to the next level. And uh, we we really dove deep into into some critical aspects and and now we're at a point where it's done it's we have a, we have a final draft i have a, a pro project slide or slide presentation that i've been passing around to uh to everyone on on the core team as well as the the experts and, and moderators and after fiscus friday is is over i'm going to be releasing that to all of you and so uh, I'm I'm really proud to present this. I'm I'm I think the whole the, well I know that the whole tokenomics committee is is really excited about it. Um, in fact, we now our biggest challenge that that we've talked about is like, what do we do because there's going to be so much money on um, how do we how do we manage that uh, because of of Fisk is going to be so rare and valuable that our biggest problem is going to have too much money compared to the amount of Fisk. So really looking forward to people's uh, uh, questions and, and feedback on the tokenomics. I will say that that there are parts in there that are still like, you know, X to be determined facets. Uh, those aren't really on the core pieces. They're more around like numbers. We're going to need to do some modeling to figure out specific numbers. We're going to work with experts to help us figure out those numbers. And we're also going to be doing like simulations and and work with the community to 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 actually run through the entire system, try to break it, and uh, you know what what happens when five billion dollars comes in through um, third party burn or or things like that, and and just simulate the whole thing before we can say one hundred percent this is done. But I think the 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 core dynamics are are really solid. And it's something that we can start developing uh, as soon as possible. So that's the big thing. The other thing that I've done this week that was very enlightening to me is I had quite a few conversations with Princess, uh, really understanding in more depth exactly all of the financial magic that happens. So, you know, what, what has been presented is that next week, Princess is going to be signing a loan agreement to to take in five million dollars and she has you know she has alluded to being able to take part of that five million dollars and then use multiple steps of leverage to eventually get up to say one billion dollars of project financing and you know that really sounds insane if you don't understand every single piece of that so that's what i was basically getting in uh into the weeds with her where she was saying okay you do this step and then this step and then this step and what we agreed upon was that one of my responsibilities going forward will be helping to communicate to the community uh two aspects one aspect is where are we at currently in the process not necessarily on the deal side but just on on the perspective of as money is coming in, what what are the necessary pieces that we need in order to scale that? And you know, what does that look like? The second aspect that is companies that is education. 
to really understand what each of those pieces mean. Now, we haven't really figured out how to do this education piece yet because a lot of it's like very technical. Um, some of it needs to remain confidential, but we do know that on a high level, we we want to extend an invitation where anyone in the community that wishes to understand how does this financial magic work, that they can at least get enough flavor that they can be like, okay, that makes sense. Yes, I feel comfortable going and talking to somebody about this, you know, outside of the community, tell them why Fisk is amazing and have some, be able to answer some basic questions to at least get them to, to come in and, and learn more. That's the goal there. Um, so I haven't, n neither Princess nor I have, have really figured out yet the exact right way to do that, that communication point. Uh, but that is something that I'll be thinking about this next week. Uh, Princess did say that to emphasize that th what is key to understanding most of these pieces is that it's all about relationships and it's all about the standards that you have and the history that you bring. So most of the, the access to these channels, it is very, very hard to, to obtain. And it, it is very, very rare elite access to it. And so with the what with Princess, you know, going over to Dubai, to Dubai meeting with presidents of, of banks, meeting with um, ministries over there, meeting with investment groups, meeting with the Abrahamic uh, investment group, this is validation. This is real world validation that she has those connections in place and that she has the access to th these channels that can then be leveraged into, into these massive amounts to do all of this, this financial wizardry. So part of my job that I see is basically mapping, saying at a high level, here's the education, here's what we're trying to accomplish. And then that way that will provide a, a touch point where when she gives an update and she's like, I'm meeting with this group, then everyone in the community should be able to be like, oh, wow, that means that X, that means that we, that we can now unlock this part, this next step. Um, and so once again, over the next week, I'll be thinking about how to, to start doing that and then start on that communication. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Other than that, other than the tokenomics and, and that piece, um, I'm basically like the rest of you. I'm I'm waiting to to get some off chain movement, um, and then we'll be really hitting hitting the next phases hard in terms of raising what we need and getting everything we need in place for on chain development. And that's it. Um, back to you, Phil. Thank you so much. Uh, so I, I I look forward to every. Every week, even on Fiscus Friday, I look forward to hearing from from everyone here. I look forward to the uh, to the AMA questions um, and just just the community sentiment and thoughts in general. You know, this is something that uh, that we have done. I, I'm trying to think if anybody has quick math that could do how many AMAs that we've we've actually done. Um, and and it's an exciting thing to be at this point. Is is it is exciting, you know. It's it's one of those things that we've all been we've all been waiting, right? And I think oftentimes in waiting, it gets to a point, and you just you you feel, you know. I know some here in the community may have may have checked out for a month and and then come back, or may have checked out for even longer than that, and and then come back. And you know, the thing is that it's always here, and and because of the structure and because it is real and viable and it's not just you know two or three anonymous devs that that no one has heard of from somewhere no one no one has ever been that is uh that's trying to you know just make a make a meme coin or a, or a token it's so much bigger than that when you look at the projects that are involved when you look at the patients that they've had when you look at the new projects that are clamoring to get in the door um, you know, this is something that from a need perspective, it's clear. From a desire perspective, it's clear. From a commitment perspective, it's clear. And so I've, I've always felt that when you have those things, you have a very good path and, and you know exactly, we know exactly where we're headed. 
um, by by starting it off chain and and we are under no illusions and feel phenomenally certain uh, because of what's already been approved that that is that spark that is that initiation uh, leverage provides the the largesse right that's that's what comes next and so it's 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 a very exciting time in a in a way it is it's somewhat from a from from my perspective and we'll we'll kind of end on these notes it's it's somewhat bittersweet uh for me you know this this will be my last fiscus friday mc you know happy to come on and and contribute to to questions that are asked and and these elements but it's it's time for us to evolve and it's time for us to grow and so based on that we have some some phenomenal phenomenal people in the wings that are not only stepping up but becoming part of the project and so based on that uh we're all excited you know for what's to come it is i I think it's bigger than that everyone has realized the the length of time that the project has existed has nothing to do uh with with any excitement levels waning uh or any elements close to that it's it's really the exact opposite when we when we consider what's been done over over the last six months um you know if if we were to compare that right when when you look at the the leverage that will occur over the next 30 days after next week over the next 60 days and you look at being eight months in the size that that we will be at that point is incredible based on eight months from from initiation, right? That I think if if everyone wants to look at a focus, remember that by being off chain and on chain, you know the metrics that define us have to be based in both. Yeah, are, are we slower than a than an on chain project that that doesn't let's say have a lot of uh, has no or little utility? Absolutely, but it's for that reason that everyone is here. It's for that difference that everyone is here. And and that includes all of us. And so with that, I, I would definitely want to end with the with a quote that we've utilized before. And that, you know, everything is looks and seems impossible until it's done. And so with that, wish everyone a great Friday, uh, a great weekend, constant activity on this end. Feel free to DM uh, with any questions and thoughts, um, any additional thoughts that are in AMA questions. We'll make sure that those get answered. Feel free to tag anyone specifically from the team and and buckle up and get ready because uh, because the time is here. I'm very humbled to say that. Thank you, everyone.